Hello, this is Penny Kelly in this meditation titled Healing Earth and Sky is the eighth in a series of meditations designed to heal the Pacific Ocean from the results of the Fukushima nuclear disaster. A man named Walter Mora, a farmer, felt he had to do something so he began inviting people to come together in kins groups to talk about what we might do to help. These meditations arose out of those meetings. So, <clears throat> as we usually do, find a place to either sit or lie down and get yourself comfortable. And then take three very deep breaths. These are full body breaths in which you breathe in and feel that breath filling your entire body all the way to the tips of your toes and then breathe out completely until you're empty and then breathe in a second time feel the whole body feel that breath in your back in your shoulders feel your feet expand and then let it out completely then a third time breathe in Breathe all the way through you, your face, your abdomen, your thighs, and then breathe out slowly. Completely empty yourself. And after that, just breathe in your normal way and remain relaxed but aware. So, we're going to start a little differently with this one. So I want you to imagine yourself lying on your back in the middle of a large field in which the earth has just been plowed. Put your arms straight out from your shoulders, palms of your hands down, and for just a moment feel the entire planet in the palm of your hand. Tell Mother Earth that you have come to visit and you just want to say hello before you begin any healing work. Tell her your name. And then feel light breezes moving across your face. The same breezes that generate electrical currents in the soil and feel that electricity in your spine, down your legs, up your arms, across your face. And just enjoy that feeling for a moment. For just a moment, feel like you are Earth. And then roll onto your belly Put your face down in the soil. You're going to have to make a little room for your nose. You might kind of have to scooch around in order to, you know, get comfortable. And then breathe deeply, letting the smell of the soil just sink right through you. It should smell fresh and alive without any hint of chemicals or sourness. Now move both arms so that they are stretched out above your head and in line with your legs. Your palms should be resting lightly on the soil. Feel your heart beating against the soil. And then try to feel with your belly deep into the center of Earth's belly. Feel the processes going on in there. And let Mother Earth feel the processes going on in the center of you. Send a message deep into the Earth that you are learning to recognize her as a living being. That you are at one with the Earth 
and the soil and all, all the living things, everything that crawls or creeps or digs, burrows or reproduces in and on that soil. And just hold that sense of oneness with all of that, all that life for just a moment. Send a message to all those living things that you are aware that the soil is their homeland. Tell them that you appreciate the work they do to bring the soil alive and that you are entirely grateful for what they do, for what they make possible, which, you know, of course includes you and all the green and living things the soil produces. For a quiet moment, just rest belly to belly with the earth. Rest in the belly of the earth and let her rest in you. And while you rest there, expand your perception to see yourself floating in space with a huge planet attached to your belly, like a pregnant human with a belly full of earth waiting to be born. And realize that what you're seeing is true. Earth is waiting to be born, born anew, born in ways that heal her and rebuild her structures, whether those structures are mountains, oceans, valleys, plains, coastlines. Be aware that these structures are Mother Earth's essential features. They are her various factories of life on our planet. And each factory produces unique forms of life in millions of subtle ways. And that's why we have the diversity of life we have here. Send a pulse from your belly deep into the earth and see that pulse radiating all the way through the earth. See it hit the skin on the other side of the planet and spread out laterally through that skin until it makes its way all the way back around to where you are lying on her surface with your nose in the soil. Feel another pulse go up from your belly and send a message with this one, telling the earth that you are completely awake to her and that you are working to help heal her. Ask her to be patient with you and all humans as we find our way back to the relationship we lost somewhere along the way, back to a place of balance, a place of love, health, thoughtfulness, a place in which we honor all living things. Ask her if there's anything she needs from you at this time and listen within yourself for an answer. And whether you get an answer or not, thank the earth for her willingness to communicate and then slowly use your arms to push yourself into a sitting position. Brush any crumbs of soil off your face or your arms or your chest. And then get up and walk through the field. And turn your attention to the fact that you're walking on the earth, but you're walking through the sky. Because the sky begins where the Earth's surface ends. And even though you might think of space as something that's, you know, way far out in the universe, the truth is that when you are walking anywhere, you are walking around in the sky. So keep walking. Keep walking until you come to a wooded area with trees. 
and select a tree at the edge of that woods and then sit down at the base of that tree and fold your legs Indian style as if you were going to meditate. Lean back against the tree, get yourself comfortable. Make sure you're not perched awkwardly on some root jutting out. So, you know, kind of move around to your perfectly, completely comfortable. And then take another deep, full body breath. Let it out slow. Then another one in. Let it out slow. Then a third one in. Let it out slowly and completely. And then return to your usual breathing and become aware of the air all around you. Be aware of little breezes that ebb and flow. Listen for the sounds the leaves make when they're rustled by the breeze. Just relax deeply and close your eyes, just resting in the lap of nature. Leave your eyes closed. Keep them closed until you feel the air getting cooler and you sense that the light is getting dim. And when you finally open your eyes, notice the deepening twilight. Look toward the horizon and watch the sun go down, gradually adjusting your eyes to the dark and your ears to the sounds of the night in the forests and the fields. And then look up toward the stars. Let your gaze move slowly among the stars. Note any planets or constellations you might know. And then slowly expand your awareness to the space in which all these stars and planets are floating. And just be aware of the amazing fact that all these stellar bodies are floating in thin air and that they are all in relationship with one another. It's a relationship based on the electrodynamics, it's actually magneto electrodynamics of plasma with its massive charges. For just a moment, be aware of the huge waves and ripples created by the spinning of the planet. And note how the existence of mountains, you know, how they stick out of the earth, some of them five miles out there. Notice how these and the waves on the ocean add complexity to the waves coming off of the planet. You know, it would be a completely different set of ripples and waves if, if it was a completely flat, smooth planet. And be aware that when we blow the top off a mountain, we are changing the dynamics of the waves radiating out from us and across the solar system we are sending a different message, a message of hurt, a message of destruction. And then take another deep breath, one of those full body breaths. And be aware that you are breathing in the sky, which is full of waves. Be aware that you are breathing in waves of information coming in from other planets in the solar system and other galaxies in that cosmic ocean out there. Your brain is taking in all of this information because that is what the other 90 or 95% of your brain is used for. But 
your attention is usually on what's happening right in front of you in that small range of frequencies that you live in, you sleep in, eat in, love in, work in, or do anything else in. You could stop from time to time to pay attention to what's going on across the solar system or the Milky Way, sending out your own information and messages. So focus your attention on the space that surrounds the earth, the planets, and all the stars, and breathe in that sky deeply. And as you breathe out, deliberately send a message of appreciation and gratitude to the many particles and waves that make up our atmosphere and what we think of as our sky. Focus on the particles, the atoms, the molecules that make up the gases we call air. And see that air as if it were a thick slurry. It's actually composed of 78% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, 0.93% argon, 0.03% carbon dioxide, and 0.003% trace gases. So tell all of those gases and the particles in them and the waves that we call our air that we are sorry for dumping so many pollutants into the sky. Tell them we're working now to find new ways to access cleaner energies and stop wasting materials on useless junk. Tell them that we intend to do away with the idea of building throwaway products and that we're working to develop new policies that produce goods that last, that are easily and cheaply repaired, and that are sustainable products. Breathe in deeply and when you breathe out, ask the particles and gases that make up our atmosphere to help us clean the sky by keeping that air moving. Tell them you wouldn't mind if they transformed themselves by making appropriate chemical combinations that resulted in newly created particles that do no harm. Take another breath in, and when you breathe out, Breathe out the intention of healing the sky and the atmosphere around the earth and let that intention be part of every molecule and atom of gas you breathe out from inside yourself. See those particles stamped with your intention and mingling with all the molecules and gases already in the atmosphere. Breathe in deeply once again Breathe out slowly, allowing more intention-stamped particles to increase until the entire envelope of air, gases, particles, molecules that surround our planet is filled with the intention to clean and heal the sky. Then hold up your arms to the stars and feel a large pulse of energy run right through you and out of your fingertips as lightning. See it streak across the sky. Hear the sound of that lightning crackle. And then do it again, listening for the thunder that follows. And then once more, pulse that lightning through our atmosphere and know that this energy is a catalyst it burns away toxins. It provides energy for chemical transformations that turn harmful particles into harmless particles. Now feel yourself floating in a clean, clear sky out of the body, breathing smoothly and easily in the fresh air. Before we close, close, float over in the direction of the Great Pacific Ocean.
and sink right down onto her surface, floating quietly and without effort. Tell Packy hello. And that you are continuing to work on cleaning up the messes we've made around the planet. Tell her you send love and appreciation for her presence in our world and that you'll be back in a couple of weeks to check on her. And then slowly lift off of her surface and gently move back to your position under the tree. Thank the tree for allowing you to lean on it. And then look up and thank the stars in the sky for being there. And then get up, say goodbye to the tree, and walk back to the place where you were lying face down in the soil when we first started. Stoop down and pat the earth. Tell her that you thank her for listening to you and for being patient, patient with all of us. And then stand up again and for a moment be completely aware of earth and sky and stars and night breezes and what the earth would be like if she were completely healed. Hold that vision of a healed earth for a moment. and then say, so be it. And then slowly and easily return to the place you left your physical body. Re-enter that body, make sure you're in good alignment and stretch a little. Take a deep breath and begin to turn your attention back to the everyday. Take your time, there's no hurry.